as a follow-up to my last advocacy on the marginalization and exploitation of the resources of Undokwa Kwane land, I wish to complete the same today for the records. Inasmuch as the federal government cannot be completely insulated from being the remote cause of the underdevelopment of the South-South in general, and Undokwa Kwane land in particular, it is time to look inwards. And so I speak on South-South, Ndokwa Okwane land, looking inwards. The Niger Delta Development Commission is a federal government agency established by Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo in 2000 with the sole mandate of developing the oil-rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. In September 2008, the late President Musa Yaradua announced the formation of a Niger Delta ministry with the Niger Delta Development Commission to become a parastater under the ministry. One of the core mandates of the commission is to train and educate the youths of the oil-rich Niger Delta region to curb hostilities and militancy while developing key infrastructure to promote diversification and productivity. While this was a commendable idea, the South-South leaders, the Commission, and the Ministry have failed to manage the affairs of their state, even with the huge resources at their disposal. In Delta State, the Board of Delta State Oil Producing Area Development Commission, DESOPADEC, was set up in July 2007 to execute a clear and critical mandate to rehabilitate, rejuvenate, and resuscitate the people and community of the oil producing areas of Delta states. This mandate is stated unequivocally in section 13, subsection 1 of the enabling laws, which set up the DESOPADEC and states that the commission shall receive and administer exclusively the 50% of the 13% oil derivation fund accruing to the Delta State government for the rehabilitation and development of oil producing areas in the state and other development projects as may be determined from time to time by the commission. The law establishing the commission in section 14 empowers it to manage and supervise the affairs of the commission, enter into contracts as may be necessary or expedient for the discharge of its function and ensure the efficient performance of the functions of the commission in accordance with the government financial regulation, establish and maintain such number of departments as it may deem fit for the effective discharge of its function. Pay staff of the commission such remuneration and allowance as appropriate. Do other such things as are necessary and expedient for the efficient performance of the functions of the commission. Dear Governor, Senator Ifani Okowa, as we speak, these laws are observed in breach as the commission is failing in her responsibility to develop uh, their immediate communities as their primary function. The new Desopadec law signed by Dr. Ifan Yokoa seek to restructure the management of the commission for a better result. Under this amendment, the role of part-time commissioner representing the various ethnic nationality is to propose projects and ensure their execution. Recall that the commission's budget for 2013 and 2014 were 37 billion and 39 billion naira respectively. Statistics show that if 30 billion naira went to the SOPADEC annually for the development of oil bearing communities, it means that in 13 years, at least 390 billion naira may have passed through the commission since inception. Despite all these funds, the people of Delta State 
and Ndokwa Okwane land in particular still live under high tension poverty, whilst those in the helm of affairs are living in outlandish opulence. Their water is polluted, land degraded, and source of livelihood ruptured. I will therefore advocate that Delta State and her leaders in Ndokwa Okwane land must turn out a new leaf and focus on the people. Let the people's resources get to them. Enough is enough. The security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government, and that is the law. I shall go to Rabbi again. Okay. Um, I, I, I think it's, it's quite interesting, at least this new dimension, that calls to duty the elders of the land and the state government, and I guess the local government as well, because they all have their roles. When you find out the amount of money that goes to all these uh, uh, the, the various layers, you will be surprised. And still, the people cannot see the effect of where this money is going to. So it's not enough just to blame Abuja alone. Abuja has his own role, which is very critical. But the people at the end of affairs, closer to the people, must take responsibility. I, I agree with you, um, Evans, um, to a large extent. But I think also um, the message would be lost in um, the copious you know, citation of, from the law. <laughs> Because the ordinary man on the street, the, before he gets to the message of looking inward, would have been tired of you know, the legalese. But then, because really, for me, I think it is, like we said last week, there's need for us to focus, look inward, um, most often than not. Because if we are united, and then we collectively you know, hold together and say, this is what we want, the government will listen. But when we want to are quick to blame the center. And then you have some people who are eating from the center who will want to create a divide mm. and say, no, 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 look inward. Some will say, look center. Some will say, look inward. <laughs> and then before we now come together to agitate what we are actually looking for, time is gone. Quickly, I will give you an example. When we were young, we went to a company in Worry and then said we wanted, during a mass strike, we wanted jobs. And then we got there, the a white man came out and said, okay, who among you is a graduate? Nobody. Okay, who among you is OND older? One person said, my girlfriend is OND older. <laughs> and so that created a divide. One said, is it your girlfriend that we came here to fight? Fight for. And then the man just left us. We were busy arguing his girlfriend and no girlfriend. <laughs> and then, you know, so it's always good for us to look in what first, harmonize our position and then present it. Once we do that, I, I think government will take us more serious. And that was why, sorry quickly, your, the NSAS thing, you know, became so frightening to them because for the first time they saw people united, yeah. even though they didn't have a leader. I think we're already looking inwards. Wasn't it within the week that um, young people in Delta State shut down a flow that station? IGG, that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was just a demonstration. They didn't do anything. <laughs> they just went there, threatened, and left. <laughs> but, 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 but let me quickly say, I like that portion of your advocacy where you summed up the, the, the amounts that coming yeah, into exactly, Delta, yeah, yes. coming to 390 yes. million. Billion. Billion. Mm -hmm per time. No. So then the, the quest, part of looking in wards is to find out where this huge amount of money goes to. When? If the people still don't have the basic community. If it's only prison that they still have. <laughs> it's it's only prison that we still have. How can After you have such amount. humongous money coming into the community, into the states, yet not percolating to the people? It. it was so, embezzled by the leaders. Yes, yeah, so you should hold the, the leaders to account. They That's should tell the where the money is going to. So it's no longer a, a, a case of the center not giving what the is due gave, gave to the Del to Delta billion. State. Yes. It is not that the people, the leaders in Delta State have done something to the money that belongs to the people. And all you still have is what the center gave, which is prison. prison. Which is prison. <laughs> <laughs> but it was even the colonial center that gave the prison, so not even not the even current the center. center. Well, I think uh, you have something on this. Or just <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you trace the money, what happens after that? If you discover that it was one chief, there should be a Daniel uh -huh. uh. and, and chief. <laughs> <laughs> Since all politics is local, all governance should also be local. Bolao is next after the break. <laughs>